Hi, I'm Libby and we're the Cupids. Today we're going to show you around Cupids Estate, which is in Milton and the Shoalhaven, just a few hours from Sydney and Canberra. We're going to take you through a virtual wine tasting, beer tasting, cheese tasting, and show you around the grounds of our beautiful estate in the Shoalhaven. How you doing guys? I'm Wally Cupid, the winemaker here at Cupid's Winery. If you don't know much about our winery, we're a multi-regional winery. So we grow Savion Blanc on site, but we source a lot of fruit from around New South Wales. We make about 24 wines here from about five different regions or so. Today you're gonna to try three different wines. So start you with the Alphonse Savion, which is our state grown Sav. The interesting part or influence, I suppose, for our region here is the proximity to the coast. We get quite a cooling influence from the sea and what that translates to is a really nice natural acidity and quite a floral perfume nose I find. So it is a really delicate sav, partially fermented in oak. So it's got a bit of texture and a bit of complexity there. They're really nice, really balanced and quite pleasant, I suppose you'd say. Uh, so the next one is our Chardonnay. So we source this fruit from Tumbarumba, which is on the western hills of Snowy Mountains. Uh, this is also fermented in oak, uh, wild mallow fermentation, left on leaves for quite a long time and bottled after about 12 months in oak. Again, quite aromatic, uh, re re really lovely peach and pear, subtle almond kind of characters and brioche influences from the oak, I suppose. Uh, but really delicate. And again, quite balanced and pleasant on the palate. Um, very good food wine, just like the Alphonse Savion. So the next, well, the, the only red we've got today is the Nebbiolo. So we do have about eight different reds that we make on site here. This Nebbiolo is from the Hilltops region, which is about two and a half hours drive northwest of Canberra. So Nebbiolo is an Italian variety. Um, this is the 18 Nebbiolo, quite fresh, uh, really kind of ethereal haunting qualities to it. It has this earthy, almost mushroom-like character. Um, really fragrant, um, strong cherry characters as well. And on the palate, it's got that really nice fleshy tannin and really nice fresh acidity and yeah, beautiful kind of crispness to it and goes well with pretty much all Italian food. Um, and these wines do go well with the cheeses that Rosie makes on site here as well. Hi, I'm Rosie Cupid. I'm the head cheese maker at Cupid from Marjorie. So I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about the cheeses that we make on site. We do make a, quite a range of cheeses, and, but today we're only going to be tasting three, um, which is the Tom de Chèvre, our Verve and our Blue. Um, but we do also make a lovely melting cheese called Milton and another one called Brick, which is a little bit like a feta. Um, we actually buy from our milk from a local dairyman, so we're very proud that we can value add to his gorgeous milk that he um, has from his cows here. And he has a special type of cow that helps us with our cheese making called Montbelliard. So to begin with, I'm going to just slice this wonderful little ver. It is a silver medal winner at the Royal Agricultural Show in Sydney this year, and it has beautiful buttery flavours and a gorgeous bloomy rind. And it goes so well with our Sauvignon, as Wally mentioned earlier. The next one I'm going to feature is our um, Flor Azul, which is a little bit like a Gorgonzola, uh, but it's very, it's savoury, not too, not too strong. It's a really good entry level blue. Sorry, I'm going to ask you, what do you call a dinosaur that's made of cheese? It's a Gorgonzilla. <laughs> so the next one I'm going to look at is the Tom de Chèvre, and it's quite a hard cheese because it's two years old, but it has some beautiful nutty burnt caramel flavours. Um, it's goat's milk, so it hasn't got that really high lactose content, but it's also fantastic in cooking. We often grate it over our um, pasta, but we're also grating it over some fantastic Jerusalem artichokes that we're using from the garden at the moment. G'day, Gardener Gav here, just filling you in on what we're using at the plate here at Cupid's and what's going into the takeaway meals. Um, myself in conjunction with uh, Adrian from My Square Meter, helping to organise what's in season at the moment so that we can then, as the restaurant starts up again, we've got nice fresh produce here to address the needs of the kitchen and also give you quality food straight from the garden. At the moment we've got bok choy, we've got some um, fresh lettuce we've just put in, spring onions, uh, carrots and beetroot. So 
there's plenty of stuff that's still in season that we're going to be putting on the plate. So anybody who turns up to Cupid's is going to get produce straight from the garden. G'day, I'm Liam Jackson. I'm the uh, head brewer here at Cupid's Estate. It's pretty hard life in the brewing beer in this part of the world, but somebody's got to do it. So I'm just going to talk you through our beers. First of all, we've got the Milton Pilsner. But basically, it's a, it's a German style of lager. Based on a German style of lager, we add some New World hops in it as well, so some Australian and New Zealand hops, just to give it a little bit of a, um, a modern twist. It's definitely a, a, a classic style of beer. For all the out there beers we have these days, lag, there's, there's really something to be said for, for a well-brewed lager. Okay, our mosaic session ale next. So, um, Session ale uh, is just a term that basically defines the uh, drinkability of the beer and, and the alcohol strength somewhat. So this is a mid-strength beer. It's, uh, it's a single hop beer. It's just the mosaic hop, which is a US hop variety. Um, with just, it's, it has this amazing um, combination of tropical fruit flavors to the hop. So when you, when you first smell it, you really get those, those uh, hop aromas coming through. Put a lot of effort into really combining all the right malts. We've got quite a complex um, uh, malt bill. It's a balanced flavour, it's a balanced aroma. And next up we have our pale ale. An American style pale ale. It's, it's, it's the style that you could probably say kick-started the uh, modern craft beer movement that, um, that, we're ex that we've been experiencing for some time now. Um, the star of the show is a hop called uh, Vic Secret. In this beer we add quite a bit of, um, well, a healthy amount, I would say, of, of crystal malt. And what it imparts in the beer is uh, some really nice, lovely toffee flavours. Beer is bitter. It's, it is about having a bit of bitterness there, which actually helps to cut through um, food quite well if you're, if you're drinking it with food too. Helps to kind of clean the palate at the end of each sip as well. All these beers can, can fulfil a different different de desire or demand depending on what you might be doing at the time or what you might be eating. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to go online at cupid.com.au to buy our wine, cheese and beer and share your pics on hashtag spend here this year.